We're going into week four. It is time to break out the pass funnels, baby. Mm -hmm. And there is a team screaming in this game to basically hammer a lot of overs if you want to be a square. Um, so I think uh, if we want, we can introduce one of our our new tools that we kind of started to build in the off season, and it's it's ready to go to unleash. Let me start with this this one because this is the graph you would have seen us talk about uh, last year, and this is your classic pass funnel. And this is what you're looking at. You're wanting to look at defensive EPA for rush and, and pass. And on your um, y-axis here, we're looking at EPA per rush, where uh, bad defenses are up here, good defenses are down here. And then on your x-axis, we're looking at EPA per pass. And what we're seeing is these are good pass EPA teams. These are bad pass EPA teams. So what we're wanting to do is target teams down here because what these teams are, something special. These are teams that are really, really, really good at stopping the run their epa per run or rush is really good they stop it very well but their epa per pass is actually it's uh below average they struggle stopping the pass and so you're wanting to target teams that are going up against these teams because you're probably going to want to throw the ball more because they suck at stopping the pass but they're really good at stopping the run so what we spent a lot of time developing and shout out to Parker and um, and others, Tej, we got introduced to this idea of game plan variance. And what game plan variance is, is an idea that tells us here on the X axis, how much is a team changing week to week on how much they run and pass? What this tells us is how aggressive is a team going after these matchups that we talked about? Because just like uh, pass funnels, up here, you can have run funnels, right? You can have teams that are really good at stopping the pass, but horrible at stopping the rush. So you may want to run it more in those games. You can see that this is kind of a validating idea because the two most injured teams with injured quarterbacks um, have a lot of game plan variance because week one, they had healthy quarterbacks. And then when they had to go to their backups, they had to run it a lot more, right? So you can see uh, Miami and Green Bay kind of uh, jump off of the chart, but that's because of those injuries. But what are the plays here? You can see the Lions are clearly a pass funnel defense. And what do you know? Seattle is a little bit above average EPA per play, but they are very much above average in game plan variance. This is a team that is heavy on going after matchups. They're going to go after this pass funnel. They are going to be throwing the ball. Now, the question is, how do you actually target it? You want to be looking at receptions, completions, and if you want yards. But the, the yardage part gets a little hard because... The game plan, really the thesis is the game plan is these teams will be throwing it more, right? So you want to capture things like completions and attempts because those are directly like, okay, I threw the ball 35 times. That, that, that number should go up versus yardage. They could throw the ball 35 times and still end up under yardage. Now it's less probable the more they throw it, but that's where there's some nuance. So the way that we do this is we run simulations on unabated, shout out unabated, use code BTB for five days free. We find where there's EV in the games we're looking at. So we're wanting to find expected value for any of the receivers or Geno um, in the Seattle game. And then once we find EV, we bet those markets. And so we don't have exact bets for you right now, but we're going to be, I'm sure, on Geno's attempts, Geno's completions, and then probably one or two of the wide receivers um, completions and maybe yards. This is from our website, btb-analytics.com. Yep. Um, it is on the it is on the paid side for now, so our members yes. have access to this. If you guys are interested in joining, um, we have season-long, monthly-long um, packages as well. You get access to all of our NFL model predictions, college football model predictions, as well as nuanced and um, other angles and data that you can use to uh, help make better bets. 